right, so I'm going to start off showing you Lass. Here is the MIDI track. Here are the notes. These first three start out triggering portamento samples. These first three notes trigger the port samples. These next two trigger the legato samples, and this turns on the auto arranger, which allows for polyphonic legato. This is CC1, so this is just dynamics right here, this red one. And this green one is CC30, which turns on auto arranger right here at this chord. Okay, so let's take a look at that. You see port light up here, then legato, and then you see the auto arranger turn on. So let's watch that again. Okay, so that's working as expected. Now, right now this is set up as CC30. If you wanted to use a foot switch, you could use some sort of uh, expression pedal and it could be set to any CC. So now we're looking at the VSL strings and here's what I've done. The notes are the same. I reshape CC1 just a little bit. And what I did was I clicked this plus button and I added a dimension controller and it's a mapped control parameter, and I, I chose dimension control E, and that brought up this fader, and I assigned it to CC4. If I left click on dimension controller E, I can rename it, and I'm going to rename it Port Legato. All right, so that's going to be the Port Legato switch. So under articulation, I'm switching this to Dimension Controller E. So what's going to happen is CC4 is going to control this fader, which is the Port Legato fader which is this knob right here, which has assigned values to these slots. So you're going to see this move back and forth. That's this light blue line. And again, the purple line is the reverse of the CC30 from last. It's now CC60. And instead of going off on to switch the auto arranger on it's now on off from mono to poly legato and that's how i'm going to get poly legato turned on one other thing to get this to work i enabled automation by i'll redo it so under midi controllers click the plus button. I chose the instrument. And I scroll down until I found legato mode. Which is pretty far down here. Legato mode. So I selected that. And then, because I'm in port 8, channel 1, controller 60. And that's what we have right here. And that's what's controlling this. The, that's what's controlling the legato mode. 
and this purple controller is the one controlling it. So let's take a look. I'm going to hit play and we'll watch the Synchron player. So over here first. So switching between Portamento and Legato, just like last was. All right, and over here, Legato Mono. And Poly Legato. So first, Mono Legato. Holly Legato. There's some other things I could do here too. I could use the Legato Blur and some of the Human Eyes. Right. Okay, well I hope that helped. And let me know if you have any other questions.